Welcome to Gimba Video by Asian Productivity Organization. In Japanese, the word Gimba means a particular place where things are carried out. Now, we'll show you good practices at the production site in Japan. Today's theme is digitalizing productivity, Japanese way. Hello, everyone. My name is Satoshi Komatsu, and I'm a professional engineer in information science and a management consultant. In this installment of Genva Video, I'd like to introduce a company, Nishihara Rico Corporation, which has outstanding plating technology. What image do you have of plating? A plating factory was once said to be hot labor, dirty, and hazardous, etc. But that image is outdated already. The continuous plating line at the Nishihara is a state-of-the-art line that achieves high quality and productivity in a safe and clean working environment. Nishihara Rico was started in 1951. Originally, we produced machinery and electrical parts. When transistors appeared in the mid-1950s, we started engaging in the plating field. Afterwards, through the rapid growth of semiconductors, we started covering lead frames. Various sorts of semiconductors and electronic components around semiconductors. Now we expanded our field to cover semiconductor electronic components and car parts as well. One of our specialties is our plating techniques. We also design the production processes ourselves, including the technology needed to design and manufacture our machines. As a result, we are able to develop all the techniques required in plating ourselves such that it is very efficient for us as manufacturers, too. With the increase in demand on high-quality products, we have built machines that can work continuously over extended periods of time. Some machines run over 50 hours in a row. For stable quality, we manage machine conditions and the plating quality with digital data in real time. As a result, through catching anomalies in advance, we aim to predict and prevent defective products and save labor. With our latest equipment, productivity has increased by 2.5 times that of conventional standard equipment. Looking ahead, we aim to offer our customers even higher productivity and more stable quality than before. Achieving this goal within the company is of deep importance to us. We have a motto, reliable technology and sincerity. This is something we instill in our employees to consider all together. Also, we aim to continue working even harder to pursue new techniques and gain customers' trust. This attitude will allow us to keep contributing even more to the plating industry. As you know, plating technology is a fundamental technology that supports the automotive and the semiconductor industries. And the Things are rapidly changing these days. Plating technology is also required for higher quality, stability, and traceability. Nishihara has met these challenges through tireless Kaizen effort, aggressive digitalization, and evolving expertise. Let's get started. Let me explain Nishihara's line briefly. At the Nishihara, various pre-processes post-processes and the plating processes are integrated into a single continuous line. The first process is called pre-process 
In this process, unwanted substances adhered to the material, like oil and oxide layers, are removed. The second process is undercoat plating. This plating is aimed at strengthening the adhesion of finished plating. The third process is finished plating. In this process, the material is coated with various metals like copper, copper alloys, and precious metals, etc. The last process is called post-process, where the material is cleaned, dried, and applied anti-discoloration. So what's so special about Nishihara? Number one, stability. In addition to high quality of products, it's worth noting that their quality is very stable. They can provide the same quality products constantly. And similar plating lines can be found in Asian countries. However, this level of stability cannot be achieved elsewhere, especially regarding thin plating. Number two, close monitoring. Many sensors closely monitor those processes. Nishihara can ensure the high level of quality and the traceability required by the auto industry. Number three, shift to creative work. By reducing simple work through digitalization, Nishihara's employees are now shifting to more creative work, like innovating their production lines. Now take a look at their lines. I'll introduce the process for tin plating. Put the materials which we want to plate on the start of the equipment. Input the plating conditions into the computer. The machine's automatically set to an appropriate electric current and conveying speed, so we don't need to arrange the rectifiers manually. First, in the pretreatment, remove oil and stains from the materials. This is the most important process throughout the entire plating process. Oil and stains adhered to the materials are not conductive and may result in a flaw called exposure. These machines clean the materials in two pretreatment processes. After the pretreatment, plate the material with an undercoat of nickel plating. In the first place, slender metal crystals called whiskers may occur on tin plating. They may cause short circuits in the final products. The undercoat of nickel plating prevents the later tin plating from having whiskers. The process after the undercoating is the acid dip. After the undercoat plating process, the material may have oxide layers on the surface. The oxide layers may cause plating adhesion failure. After the undercoating, the materials need to be cleaned up with acid. After oxide layers are removed, coat the materials with tin plating. These plating machines are more compact than others. They have five tanks of tin plating. The machines clean the materials with water every time a tin layer is coated. After each tank, the machines clean the material with water and plate with tin. Foreign substances in the plating tank may adhere to final products and cause flaws. We regularly maintain and inspect the machines to prevent such flaws. Oxidized tin may cause discoloration and poor soldering. After the tin plating, clean the materials in antioxidant bath tank. Then, dry them with a dryer. Winding tables have an image processing machine in front. It is difficult to directly inspect the whole product with a human eye, so the image processing machine is in full operation. Finally, the final products are winded on the table at the end of the equipment. The final products are shipped out as coils. We inspect plating thickness and adhesion status in the initial and end parts of the products. We must ensure that the plating thickness, adhesion, and appearance are all fine as a whole. To ensure the high quality of the whole product, it is important to manage machine running speeds and electric currents, the conditions of chemicals and cleaning water, and the concentrations of chemicals. Machines constantly collect the data of electric current, voltage, temperature, and machine speed every 10 minutes. It takes about 22 hours to process one coil. 
and this machine has three lines. Data piles up in large amounts and is output in tables. Originally, we checked whether there is no trouble after the machines had finished operating using PCs. Now, we can get real-time data with the newly installed visualization systems. We can see the data in various forms at second intervals as well. We have some graph charts on the top page. The charts enable us to analyze the transitions of data over a long period easily. The flaws in machines can be detected easily as well, according to the tendencies of the data. Now that we can grasp all the data at once, it becomes easier to get into action. The data can be output in the form of a table as well. We can extract abnormal data beyond the bounds of the standard scope. It's not like in the past, when we manually extracted abnormal data from sequences of similar numbers. Abnormal data can be detected obviously. It is easy to check past records as well. Workers no longer need to take much time for the data check. Now they can use the extra time for other work efficiently. With a prior detection of abnormal data, flaws can be prevented more easily than before. まあ、日本の半導体がちょっとこう海外に比べると勢いが落ちてきたというところが見られる。The semiconductor industry in Japan was said to be weaker compared to foreign countries. But these days, it's getting more powerful, which benefits us as well. Semiconductors are essential for society and the country's prosperity. We are making efforts to contribute to the industry, which will be good for us as well. We have been producing products at headquarters. Manufacturing is becoming increasingly competitive, not only in Japan, but around the world. Building a cost advantage is becoming increasingly important. So, we want to use our existing technology to create production systems with even higher productivity. The larger the equipment gets, the more complicated the management procedures become. But it became easy to monitor the data after we transitioned from analog to digital. Originally, human intuition played some roles without the digital technologies, and in some cases, that might have led to instability in quality. While customers wanted us to guarantee the best results all the way through, we were unable to provide enough evidence only through sampling. We use real-time data to ensure that the machines, plating qualities, and the final products are fine. We manage the equipment well in this way. Customers confirm the qualities of all the final products with data we got from our machines. We do this not because clients requested it, but because it is becoming an industry standard. Originally, sampling data alone played a big role in guaranteeing the final product's quality, but now they don't. It became necessary to have data to show that we have enough processes to guarantee the total length of the product. Some think they can still do it without digital technologies. They are not aware of the advantages of digitalization, so they don't accept it, I think. 
It would be hard to change everything at once because it takes lots of time and money too. We change what we can change initially. Then the advantages can be applied to other fields later. It is how digitalization goes. まあ、我々もあの長い間研修をやってるんですね。もう半世紀近くになりますけども。ものを作る。We have been putting effort into personnel training for a long time. We have been working for nearly half a century. It was always important to know that we cooperate with each other and have the same goal to produce good things. To succeed in that, of course, we want to instill in our employees an attitude to make good products. I think education for this is also necessary. Technologies and skills are required to make good products as well. We always put importance on these things mindsets and technologies. We share our goal with all members, and each member must think about what they can do to achieve it. Now we manage to use data for management, but next we get to create something new with the data. Then we need to analyze the data. AI will play an important role in this field. It will save labor and stabilize the product's quality. AI can help us solve problems at early stages as well. Through those challenges, I hope all the workers fulfill their potential to grow up, effectively using extra time brought about by digitalization. They can use their ability to grow up, and the corporation will support it.